Trackers of Faith, featuring Duke and Luke, the Barn Brothers, Penny, the cold crack and tech savvy gal who is quick on her feet, Walker, the big hearted handyman who uses his mechanical know how to lend a helping hand, Jenny, the fun loving biblical brains of the operation, and Milton. This super sassy swine has been fitted with the latest in animal communication technology. Join this crew of high-tech heroes as they sow truth, know truth, and grow truth. Tractors of Faith! Uh, hey there, folks. I got a really special delivery today. Oh, wow. Who's that gift for? It's for Penny. Seems pretty special. For me? It's amazing. Look at that bow and the paper. What a great gift. I'll put it over here where I can see it whenever I want. Uh, Penny? Yeah, Duke? Aren't you going to open that? But why? The present is such a gift all on its own. I mean, do you see how well it's wrapped? I love it. You gotta be kidding me! You got such a great gift and you're not even going to see what's inside? I have to admit, in all my deliveries, this is a first for me. What if you had never opened your gift from the Holy Spirit? What do you mean? Well, you have the gift of serving, right? You're always ready to use your talents, like your technology skills, to serve others. You've been working for weeks on the Harvest Predictor, so we know how much we'll be able to grow and share from the farm. Service is a spiritual gift of mine, for sure. You're right. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, where can you buy spiritual gifts? You don't buy spiritual gifts at the store, Mr. Jerry. They're given to us by the Holy Spirit when we become Christians and welcome the Holy Spirit into our hearts. Listen to this from the Bible in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 4 through 8. Paul says, For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Paul is basically saying that the Holy Spirit gives everybody these different things that we're not just good at, but supernaturally gifted to do for the body of Christ. There are a lot of different ones, and they're all really important. When people use their spiritual gifts and work together, our world begins to look more and more like the kingdom of God. People consider others more important than themselves, and everything we do glorifies God. Oh, I see. Like how all the parts of the body make one whole person who can run and jump and eat and dance. Now you're getting it. And I'm getting it too. When someone wants to give you something they think you'll love, they wrap it up really nice as a present. If you never open it to find out what's inside, you'll never get the joy of using the thing they got for you. That goes for gifts from people and gifts from the Holy Spirit. A gift is pointless if you don't open it. You convinced me. Let's see what it is. <laughs> 